Uh, hello, YouTube, by the way. Because of this game and just, like, a bunch of stuff that I stream in general, I feel like a, a weapons grind in Monster Hunter wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Because it's just sort of like, yeah, that's what we do. It's what you expect. This is when I was playing... Uh... Persona... Three and I was like I don't and I was grinding for Elizabeth and I was like I don't know if anybody actually likes to watch this and like a few of you were like yeah I like I like when people include the the grinding it's it's like yes I got to see the path I got to see the road to victory <laughs> oh yeah data ten just kind of like left it's been a hundred hours uh. Oh my god, it has! Yeah, I beat the game at like 69 hours. I'm tempted, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna hold off on that until we are in Yamotsu Hirosaka. I'm already, like, Five levels behind only, and it's November. Granted, I'm playing on hard, or I'm sorry, expert, and not on normal. And the last time I played this, neither me nor Fisk were, the, were in the JRPG mindset that you need to have in order to have a good time in the late game. <laughs> you don't have to be. A comfortable level. It's just, you know, I'm kind of overachieving right now. <laughs> also, yes, rip save data 10. It it corrupted and the save failed, and then just the where it appeared on the save slot has never returned. Fortune. Devil 10. Yeah, rip save 10. I'll stay home. But yes, where we were in this story is we've saved Nanako. Uh, I finished tower. Let me check quests. Today's a good day for it, because we're going to be getting, uh... You can wait to move, devil. <laughs> Yeah. Let me check my quests. Whee! I can give the man the fine coal, because it was raining the day that I was able to do it. Right? We can do the branch headband. And I think those are the only two. Because today's lover's ten, so... And Fortune's gonna get maxed soon, and then we'll finally be able to finish the ones. This man thinks that Junez is causing the fog. <laughs> and now we do, uh, experiments in telepathy. She should be here. one.
Cupping District South, and I have until the 17th. Last time she spawned, but for some reason she's not here. Yes, you did. Let me go back to the floodplain. Yeah, 29 and 38 have to be cleared, and they are. video games, or just in media. Alright, come on, kid. Looks like she's not showing up today. I still have until the 17th, though, so it's fine. Is there any that open up in November? Uh, not until the 22nd. Oh, but there is one that we can do today! It's the 50th West, and it's at the high school. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you! Mugen Souls Z. Really? They're putting Mugen Souls on the Switch? Interesting. Is that a challenge? Categories, categories. Group A and B. F's and A. G's and B. N is A. O is B. Which group has does P have detailed onto the side of his ride? B! And with your name, no less. Yeah, the second game in the Mugen Souls series is Mugen Souls Z. The way they're drawn. Mental appetizer. A group little. TC is a. X E is B, M D is A, R N is B, B K is A, N E is B. Which of these three is in Group A's speed dial? Oh my God, it's Prometheum, because I'm cheating. Te Technetium, Berkelium, and Mendelevium are all synthetic elements with prime atomic numbers: 43, 97, and 101. Masataka Ogawa thought he found element 43 and named it Nipponium. He didn't. He found element 75 and didn't know. Now time for me to spit the final verse. It's, this time it's find the mismatch. Uh, which one of these things is not like the others? Stop, need, decimal, arts, penal, wines, onset, guns. Which one of these should find a different circle of friends? Need. Why, I do not know. All the other words can be formed in at least two other single word anagrams that use every letter. Oh! Cool! Riddle partners in crime. <laughs> Crazy riddle epoxy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why would I try to do the, any of those riddles <laughs> properly? Never. <laughs> Where is Rise? Eden, Dean, and Dene are words. 
Holy shit, he was wrong. Hello, Jeppo. Also, hello, Ben. Verse 10! Give me Konzion! This is really funny if you do it during the winter in Golden or if it's really foggy. Because <laughs> she's like, oh, what a lovely day. And it's like, is it though? <laughs> I don't think you can actually see anything past the smog. you to have it, senpai. Signed photo. Hello, Grim. Ah. Nice. I imagine it'll take some time getting used to, but... stupid things I mean in reality there's no the signed photo a real me or a fake me oh you remember you gotta remember the conversation in Q Jeppo she makes all of her signatures unique so that way they don't have much value Uh, Junpei tried to do something like that where he was like, ooh, if I get a sign, if I get a, an autograph from Rosette now and take it with me to the past and wait, it'll be super ex it'll be super worth like, it'll have a good price on it and then she was like, um, actually no <laughs> I make sure all my signatures are unique so that way there aren't people who try to sell them for ridiculous prices on the internet and he was like oh well, I totally wasn't going to do that, ha ha ha. <laughs> hello, Rise. Well, we were hanging out. Why did I say hello? I guess hello, Kanzion. What did, what did you forget to do? I love you. Yeah, but she trusts us with it. This is true. So it's a real signature. <laughs> so are we going to betray that trust or <laughs> Ishtar? Oh. Well, thank you for the follow. I have those notifications turned off, so I did not know. And by that, I mean there's a there's a thing that pops up on screen, but it doesn't give away any names. And in my activity feed, it's hidden, so I uh, I never know. It's only when I look later and the number has gone up that I'm like, ah. Oh. And Twitch emails me, even though I asked them politely not to. But, you know. <laughs> I don't really need an email every time somebody follows. <laughs> yeah, because people lurk, and they want to follow, but they don't want to get, like, called out if they're lurking. 
It's a nice system. Is Ishtar good? In every game in which I got her, made her, and used her, yes. Ishtar was in my first playthrough of Q. I definitely clearly made her because she was in the Compendium in 4. I used her in Golden during my playthrough. She was part of my final team in Persona 5 Royal. Yes, Ishtar is a good- she's a good healer. Very good healer. I, I also had her for a brief stint in Persona 3, but I was not going healer mode. I trusted Yukari with that. I needed damage. <laughs> and then Messiah learned Salvation, so there wasn't really a, a, a huge point in hanging on to her. Plus, I think you need her for... Hello. Unless I'm remembering that wrong. And I needed Hillel for Armageddon. Sleep. Make sure I'm not... Ooh, wrong button. Not sure. Make sure I'm not behind on anything. Like, uh, be really sad if I. Okay, good. How do you fuse personas that aren't? You just kind of get the card for them. I think the plot explanation was that because there's more than one wild card user in the same space and time, uh, their powers caused a strange effect, which, you know, eliminated the need for social links to cause certain persona fusions. Is she- wait, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna hang out with Death today, but I need to see if the other twin is where she's supposed to be. Because if she is, then we can get that out of the way before the 17th. Yes! Why is she gone? Why is she not here? Yeah, they felt generous. <laughs> it's what, uh, it's what like locks everyone to their primary personas, but allows everyone to equip a sub persona or something. Okay, the older twin is just not around, but that's fine. Nice. Let's finish hanging out. Yes. Let's finish Hisano's social link. It's not Thanatos. I'm not sure if it's Alice, though. This. It might be. Probably is? Tends to be? Thank you. Yes, yeah, so let's find out.
It's Mahakala. It was neither. Who? <laughs> the King of Darkness! <laughs> It might be only in Persona 4. I don't. Uh, that sounds mean, but uh, yeah, no, really. <laughs> Live a long and full life. That is the greatest thing you can do for your beloved. <laughs> I hope that one day we will meet again. He's one of them. Uh... We can be mean. What is she gonna do? Reverse it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no dreams. We don't want to dream about people. Do I have the f I should. There's no reason for me not to. Yep, there's Fortuna. Yes! It sounds like it. Uh, Reload's gonna have the most voice acting out of any Persona game before it, because everything is going to be voice acted. Maybe not absolutely everything, but, like, every tier of the social link is going to be fully voice acted, which is very impressive. Yes. Ooh! End of the social links. The 15th is the last day for social links if you were on top of everything, which means I can play catch up with everybody else after- after tomorrow. I wonder who they'll get for Kenji. Will you spend the voice afternoon with now? So be voice acted would be weird. <laughs> yeah. Somebody already had a meme, which that actually leads to the fact of like, I think they're gonna change Hermit. I think you're actually gonna interact with her in person, because Somebody made a joke about, like, the statement of all the social links will be fully voice acted, and it was, like, somebody typing on their keyboard. <laughs> like... And that would just be- that would be the f <laughs> That would be the social link dialogue voice acting. <laughs> Yeah, it's text-to-speech. Hello, Day Nightfall. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's hot in my room. Also, hello, Theta. Several several people came in at the same time, and I was like, just kind of like, my brain looked over. 
or I looked over and my brain registered new people say something and then I didn't You know it's hot? Yeah. Uh. He beat Magatsu Inaba. <laughs> Norn. <laughs> Level 90. Your outside therm says it's 107. <laughs> it gets pretty hot over here, but it's, you have to get that high. Mostly because it keeps raining. Like, it's it's hot, but it's dry. So there's not a lot of humidity. So... It, like... Just, it's been raining. It's been raining so much. It's nice. I mean, after the fact. Especially at night. But during the day, when it rains, and it's still really hot out, it's this, like, it's not humid, but... The rain is cold, and the air is not, and it is not a good combination. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty hot. <laughs> South side. The closer to the equator you get, the warmer it becomes. I... I am a woman. And a detective. One who is seeking the truth with you and the others. Yes, I do. Thanks for thanks for noticing. <laughs> Ugh. Actually, that's a thing. I was having well, I you guys know because I didn't stream that Friday. I was having really bad internet issues on Friday. Like, the upload was fine, so I was sort of able to put the like. I was able to upload something, but I needed more download in order to, like, run all the other things that I needed to do in order to have, like, a good stream. So it was, like... Yeah, because I, like... So I pay for... The internet that I... The internet that I have is 800 down, 40 up. I think. Um... And no human alive needs that much download speed unless there are, like, 12 people using the internet at the same time. The upload is what I care about. Uh, more often than not, I wind up having to deal with only having, like, 15 to 20. If it goes below 10, that's- that's a- that's a bad stream. That's a bad stream. You've seen those streams. Uh. But the download has never, like, been a problem, because it's never been- it's never- like, even when it's only 400, it's not- it's not, like, something that I'd have to, like, worry about. Friday, the download speed was not even one, and I need at least three. I'll see you again. Which was, like, damn it. So I, that was kind of like, that was, yeah, the internet was very non-cooperative Friday, and we, we don't really know why. But it was like all of my neighborhood, and then the whole next, like, city over 
was having issues, and I was like, wow, that's bad. But that was a good thing in the sense of that they had it dealt with quickly. Some Someone crashed into it. Yeah. Was the person driving okay? Is that- I'm a- I would be concerned for them. My dad is a traffic engineer, and he has told- he has told some horror stories of people crashing into, like, streetlights. The passenger- oof. I hope that person's alright. Oh, I'm getting invited by Fortune. Senpai. No, it was just a dream that I had. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, tomorrow is gonna be my last day to finish. If that, if the other twin is not there and I can't do the t the experiments in telepathy, I will be sad. I'm not going to reload the game for them, though. <laughs> yes. Please accept it. By spending time with you all, I change, day by day. It frightened me before, but now, with everyone, with you, I can proudly proclaim- You're a good assistant, myself. leader! <laughs> nothing more, but nothing less. Um... If the rumors are correct, not as OG, OG sector didn't get- Credited. She might have been in a union. It may not have been a, we're not going to credit you. It would be a, for legal reasons and the group that I'm in, I do not want you to credit me. Which happens, happened a lot uh, during the, this, the time that this game came out. A lot of... Um, a lot of, like, behind-the-voice actors or IMDb lists for who voiced characters was people doing their own detective work for certain characters. Like, how we're we're still really not 100% sure for certain who voiced Chidori or Ken originally in Persona 3. It's because they didn't want to be credited, and they requested that they wouldn't be. It I, I, I feel like that would be the same for now, so... Like people had to people had to find the voice actor, lit. like by looking up like similar voice roles and doing their own digging, because it's just what people did. And people and some people still do, where they just like I don't want to be I don't want to be credited. I want to get paid and that's it. <laughs> Hello, Yamato Takeru.
Claire in Resident Evil Revelations 2 is a newer example of somebody who goes uncredited. Yeah, it, it's just like... Voice actors will request that from, from time to time, depending on if they want to be recognized in public or if they just want to do it as, like, a private side... uh, thing. And that's why Naoto's voice actress is uncredited. That's the most likely example. Because there'd be no reason to just randomly go, yeah, no, we're not gonna credit your voice acting job as Naoto. It, it would be that she expressly requested to not be mentioned. And then people just found her through other works and made comparisons. But it's never a certainty unless the person admits it themselves. Because it could just be whoever she is credited as anywhere online is speculation. Which is the case for Chidori and Ken from Persona 3, where we really don't know if it's actually those people. Check. Aha! Norn! I need that for Izanagi no Okami! Loaf. I had ramen yesterday. I still need to throw out the container, though. It's still in my room. <laughs> I kind of uh, fell asleep not thinking about it, but it was empty. It's empty. Don't worry about it. You have my gratitude. Yes, fingers crossed. I hope it's good. It'd be difficult to make meatloaf not good. Is that the first time I've had ramen in, like, a year? That's the first time I've had ramen in 2023. I don't think it's actually been 365 days since. <laughs> but... Alright, let's look. Hello, Naoto. She games? Fire resistance. And I think, uh, already nulled. Uh, bless and curse. I mean, it's not bad. Why fire? Could not tell you. Okay, so now we can get Yumi and Teddy, not Yumi and Teddy, Yumi and a Aerie, because Teddy's automatic. I, don't, I just said it because I was reading it. <laughs> so now I can do whatever I want! Takoyaki time coming up. I do want Takoyaki again. Tsukuna Hikona only resisted light and dark. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, it uh, got stronger. Two, and I'm, and it's because I'm behind. <laughs> this is the last day, I think. She's here. Not Fox. Fox is done. Uh, Temperance and Sun. I'm on rank 9 for Sun and rank 7 for Temperance. I 
Maybe she didn't show- well, no, it's cloudy today. I don't know why she didn't show up. I like how you censored some of the, the letters, so that way it wouldn't trip the... Yep, just one more game. I don't know why my brain read that as gamble initially, but it did. I also didn't mean to go to Junette's. <laughs> One more game. And then we have to wait for Reload and Tactica. Uh, it's gonna be way more spaced out, though. <laughs> Monday, Friday, Saturday. I can do Yumi today, though. No, she's Tuesday! It will just be Persona because of the reason. It's Femsy. Just as I, I did the boy route, there would be no point in doing Portable if I wasn't going to play as the girl. I mean, there wouldn't be no point, but there would be... It would not make sense. That is a better statement. It would not make sense. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna go to the shrine. Because I can't hang out with either of them. I'm gonna go to the shrine. Uh... Just to be sure for Aerie. I know Yumi is going to be ranked 10. I just couldn't find an opportunity to actually hang out with her. You bet Yumi and Ari are busy because they're hanging out together! But yeah, these are the days to like... Like, technically, if I was perfect, the social links would be done. I did not need to have a dream of yesterday. And the 22nd is when more quests open up. Today I can hang out with Yumi, though. And she's ranked 9, which means the next rank is 10. And tomorrow I can hang out- I should be able to hang out with Eri.
started thinking about finding answers to the questions I had before. He and Mom are the ones who gave me life. Then, what can I do for the people who gave me this life? For the people who have supported me? I've been thinking about it all this time. I'm not going to run from my own life anymore. After all, I'm the only person who can live it. I'm sorry, and thank you. Um, can you take this? Annotated script. You gave me the opportunity to start walking. Oh, yeah, where you don't like. I believe it's exclamation point upcoming. I need to add more games to that. <laughs> I have to change F F7 remake to basically every Final Fantasy. <laughs> I say basically because the online ones are the only ones I don't have. Ashura! I'm so sorry. Bye then. I mean, those are the to-do lists from games that were gifted, and I haven't updated it uh, in the past handful of days. Soon, though. I mean, I'm gonna run out of text. I don't know what I dream- or who I dreamed about. Oh shit, it's gonna rain! No! Can I stock? I, I I remembered questioning this. Can you stockpile points before rank ups, or does it throw that extra points away? Throw those extra points away. Damn it, Marie, I wanted nights work. Okay, I didn't think it was a cross. It's not a pentagon. I think all of the rank tens are. Yeah, there's Mahakala. Oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah, the only one is Z-Star. Where's Z-Star? 
Oh, some of them are not... You did. Or at least you did in another streamer's chat, perhaps. I do remember you mentioning that. Hmm. Let me see... So I, I've, I did Mata. Yeah. I don't think Priestesses was Zimit? Zimital, is it? I'm not trying to make Norn. I just want to see. Yeah. I don't think. Oh no. Why am I. What am I doing? Well, I need to check the compendium anyway, because I need to grab a Temperance persona. Ah! Ah, uh, yes. So there were- oh yeah, there's Ishtar. By the by, there's- there she is. Kind of a very strong healer. Also came with Mazniodyne. Or learned it. No, I was gonna just look at my key items. I just- I wanted to see if I had made any of them. But, I don't- I don't need to know right now, so it doesn't matter. Just gonna nab Apsaris. And then we'll just pray at the shrine every day that we can't hang out with Aerie. Tomorrow's gonna rain. Yeah, it's gonna rain until the 20th. But then it's gonna be cloudy on Monday. <laughs> I do wanna see if there's- if it keeps track. I don't think it does, because I never felt like it ever did. Unless the points that you get are so, like, minuscule that it doesn't mean anything. 22nd is when new quests open up, so... Kinda just have to go to the shrine! Really want to make sure that Eric and I get along, you know? So I can get her social link All wrapped up neat and nice before the game ends. After that, it'll be this awkward level of what in-game day does the story progress. The last day to save Nanako is the 20th. And because we saved her earlier, uh, we're not gonna have to- we're not gonna be forced to go to the hospital on the 21st, I don't think. It's worded like that's what's happening. We may we may go to the hospital on the 22nd, I don't know. Or then on the 21st. It just says hospital visit if possible. Not sure. Ugh. Oh wait, no, don't leave. I guess go to the hospital? I don't know. Uh. 
let's see, I suppose. Fog is covering the town. Oh, there he is! Take a look at this. Namatame is in today's paper. So it's finally over. Yeah, seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. <sighs> Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness! Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. Well, the perp's been caught, so yeah. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together his story. This is still a secret. But I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano or Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. He lied. Sojima-san's recovering And too. we get out of the I cold inside the hospital! <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> He lied. He totally 100% lied. Yosuke. He he lied. Sorry. I'm all right. At no, least the making caught. advances part Can't was a lie. He probably wrote in his diary about what he saw before her body was found, but But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course. He I twisted the truth. That's what he did. Knowledge. Okay, looks like we're not hanging out. <sighs> yeah, we're going to visit Nanako. Nanako. Everyone's here to see you. And it is meh. Aww. <laughs> Do 
Yojima-san! Ugh. How many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um... Are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well... My wounds are just closed up, and... It seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. Gashiwagi, is what that you? What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Hey, bro. <laughs> Or is it now? No, no. Oh. We visited Nanako today. Her condition is stable for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatami? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out. And there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased. Which is quite unusual. Isn't that just a rumor? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? You're gonna play things, but your brain went burr and suffered a halt. Ah! I've never seen anything like it. I've... I've done that once or twice. There was a time where I was playing... Uh... Honestly, this has happened a number of times, but the most recent... Uh, example was I was playing Minecraft and then somebody started talking to me in Discord and I was like, ooh, I want to talk to that person and I was in my house so I was safe, so I just sat in the corner of my house, I think for like a solid in-game three days having a conversation and not playing the game <laughs> I wonder what's causing it Creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. 
You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. Oh yeah, it's Juneteenth. I completely f I I didn't like think about it now. Hey Juneteenth, everybody. And if you don't know what Juneteenth is, that you just know it's an American holiday and we it's a very important holiday. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. E. What? Did he lose control? Uh, I forget. There was, like, a comic that, that somebody had made of, like, helpful information about specifically why it is. Uh. But it was, I believe it's the last recorded day that... Word got out nationwide that slavery had been abolished and that the the American or United States Civil War had ended. Juneteenth, even though the war had ended before June 19, uh, getting the word out to everyone took a little bit longer, and the 19th of June was the last was the last day where where uh, people had been informed of the result of the war and that uh, slavery had been abolished. So yes, a very important uh, United States holiday. Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. I... <laughs> this, this banter between these two, uh... Housewives... I, I, I'm sorry, I I want to approach them and go, I'm, I, okay, so what exactly are the police going to do about the fog? <laughs> I'd personally like to know. <laughs> the fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. No, it's not that. I think it's just kind of like a, the initial point of the conversation is it's like, that's what, that's how, that's how rumor mongering just kind of goes. It's just really funny where it's like, I wish the government would show up in a small town and do something about the weather. <laughs> it just... You, it's you funny. <laughs> it's just like, what are they gonna do, lady? Bring a giant fan and blow it away? <laughs> Oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Business has been so slow lately. Finals are on Monday. They're in a week. What days can I hang out with Ari? Friday. Oh, Friday's hospital visit.
I'm not gonna be able to hang out with her for a while. Like, she's the last, she's the last social link that I need to do, but I'm just not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> All my days are spent visiting the hospital, and then doing tests! The... Uh... uh Creepy ambiance for when the world is foggy is. The world, the town is foggy. Ba -ba 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 -da. Like, here's another day where I have nothing to do. Oh, but I do have some things I can do. New quests. Ooh. All right, girl on the rooftop. Practice building. Old or... Classy lumber. Did Riddle Senpai returns? Some about floodplain, some about floodplain. Oh, okay, so, uh. To the Samagawa! You! Modest lamp, and then oh, wait, yeah, those are the last three. Four, those are the last four. Well, dang! Of course, not gonna fulfill any of that until... Wait. I can't wait until the final day to do the thing. But I think I can wait until Magatsu Inaba becomes available, because it'll probably force me in. I'll just take a day when the guide says to do Magatsu Inaba. We're gonna go to the shrine. Oh, 
yeah. Every... Every request. I'll get a day to hang out with her. One day. It's not Wednesdays, right? It's Monday, Friday, Saturday. Honestly? Sure, I have nothing else I can do. Oh, pfft. Come on, Yosuke. Kept you. All right. <sighs> the fog will not deter me. Yeah, tomorrow, cloudy, hospital visit if possible. I think they're- it says if possible, but I think they're mandatory, so I don't know why it's worded like that. We'll see if they're mandatory. If I'm forced to go to, uh... The one that's tomorrow. Six. Six million there for the taking. I think they're like... <sighs> the questions are not like... Oh! A hospital visit if possible. What happens if I don't... do the one that's tomorrow? Do I have to talk to a team member? Let's see. I remember there was something like this. Ah, 
It's Rise. Rise is how you do it. I see. It's social link points. Temperance? Eight. Oh, hey! A, dr a dream of Airy. That actually helps. <laughs> Sorry, Nanako, we're hanging out. <laughs> we're hanging out with Eri. This should be... Uh... Pretty sure this is Temperance 8. Yes? Yes. At least it should be. Shocked if it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. I I could not tell you a reason. Actually, I am her husband.
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It was Eddie, and I really didn't know what to say there. I just kind of flipped through dialogue. Then I'll see you again. Pocket that extra 10k. <laughs> Fifth. Hospital visit if possible. Uh, unfortunately, no. I'm going. Uh, I'm sorry, Nanako. I'm going to <laughs> hang out with Ari again. Hopefully, it's not a spend time. If it's a spend time, I'm going to be sad because that means I'm going to have to take the days where I can't go to the daycare to pray at the shrine. No! <laughs> ah. <laughs> he thought we were bullying his mom. What's up? Why would that one specifically be considered incorrect is beyond me, but alright. Whatever. It's an abbreviation of the word already. Does it. Does the apostrophe. Does the apostrophe's presence really make it, like. not work? I don't understand. This is. nine? Temperance nine? Should be Temperance nine. A chance? I think they explicitly stated that, I thought. But maybe they hadn't. This was just a spend time. <laughs> yeah, literally just the apostrophe. Well, <sighs> let me scroll all the way down to the twenty sixth. I'm getting food. Ooh. 
Yes, thank you for giving me all of the green onions. That was a very big boy stretch. Big dog stretch. Monday, Friday, or Saturday when it's not raining. Um, so, so I don't think we have enough time. I don't think we have enough time to finish Temperance. Did not need to have a dream about shoe. Hmm. If this is not rank no. nine for temperance, we don't have enough time. <laughs> Wait. No, we just don't have enough time. You can't- there's no daytime stuff that I can do. This is the- the exam. It's gonna take the whole week. Wait. Holy shit. This dock is incomplete.
Tschüss. Regarde I I don't think December 22nd is actually the last day you can do it, but I wanted to be sure cuz uh Golden said very very last day. This is the 26th. But I don't know if the game goes that long. Also, uh, since the doc ended <laughs> on the 30th of November for some reason. Um, let me look this question up. This is gonna make the thing show up. Don't worry. Yeah. It just ends. That's why I was like, I don't think I have enough time, because there's nothing after that. But it must not have been a finished guide. They must have gave out at, at the end of the game, where it was like, yeah, at this point it doesn't matter. I guess. Yeah, so, uh, my guide is, uh, gone now. I can't use that. <laughs> Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. <laughs> yes. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, Senpai? Oh, this girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. <sighs> Guys, put on your glasses! Oh, 
clear. What the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Means it's not normal fog. Then, um... Could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? You, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. It, it's just a thought. <laughs> Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. Wow, we haven't used that name in a while. Yep. Ace to the test. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um, some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist harmful substances. More and more consist of. Are calling for an investigation. Consist of. Into the Why of the consist fog harmful, harmful substances? That doesn't make sense. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Huh? Is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Kamishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings. But later, suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? Yeah, I'm sure we can leave the rest to your uncle. Now, so you could just say Nanako. <laughs> but the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes. There are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it. You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets! They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki Senpai. No, not just her. Or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako chan's in the hospital right now, too. What's the matter? A katatsu? Oh, 
then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new katatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. Ah! Ah! All right, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! Yeah, that's a that's another can of worms. It's the the eternal argument of should courts be innocent until proven guilty or guilty until proven innocent. If we're getting a katatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. The best compliment to a kotatsu would be a heated rug. I've seen the actual You lay on the cord like that, so I'm gonna have to move the controller. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Can I still stay here? You kept your promise. I think this is so I should be going back. Up with life is fun. <laughs> but I don't want to go until Nanachan gets better. <laughs> <laughs> of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys. Sensei. I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nanako-chan comes home, Sensei. Nah, if only she had said that to Namatame. He'd be so confused that he'd just be like, uh, and leave. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. I may feel like I'm going crazy, but even that's too weird for me. <laughs> pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. <gasps> what? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Stay out of this! <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? Jack Frost. Yeah, that, that white round shape's the best. A plush doll's the way to go. All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes, and we'll bake the cake. Of course. Let's make it a cake to remember. Oh, no, you're not. Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? It's Adachi. Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen.
listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Come on, let's go! That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <clears throat> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? <laughs> Hello, cord cutter. <laughs> this is the original Persona 4, yes. His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh, yeah. Something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. I mean, I like both. The, the dialogue that they read are, is the same, it's just how they perform the dialogue that's different. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop, huh? You want to see that stuff so bad? We'll show you. Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! What the? Is Nanako Chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What the hell? What's going on? Nanako-chan... Daddy... Nanako-chan! Nanako-chan! Can you hear us? 
Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. Oh, the shuffle time? It is quite different. I, I will say I do like How's vanillas Nautical? more. Doctor. Nanako! N Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. No! Nanachan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... transported into the same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case! What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. I can't tell you that. Just tell us where he is already. Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Yeah, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's his room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. Caps did not trip the thing. I... I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. 
It happened in my world. Even though I was the only Teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... I... Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... The only one in the world. Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Jima-san, was he seriously gonna... <sighs> His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai, and now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right! Why is he the one that gets to go on living? <laughs> Are you all right? I think the answer to that is no. You have your life, and now you want your freedom too? It's your fault that Nanako Jun's. I. I didn't. I. Dear the clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this. I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed. But it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. Is that what Namatame's really thinking? Then he wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law. I will never forgive what you did. This... Please, stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you? Kanji... Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you... You're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mm. Mission? My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? 
We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I, I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Oh, you're doing Monster Hunter? Oh no. Although once he enters, we may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... What's gotten into you guys? This is crazy. How can we do something like that? E. I've had. I've definitely had those moments. Cheer, everyone. Listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook. And he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? I... Yosuke! All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. If we do that one thing, then this is all over. Just push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? Wait a second here. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Namatame's true feelings. But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! What didn't you understand? Something's bothering me. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? We're missing something. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer! Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Calm the hell down. <laughs> He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. Everyone took a deep breath. <sighs> You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. 
How can you possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I'll think as hard as Whew. I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, and thanks. Case has taken a sharp turn, and the investigation team is now one step closer to the truth. It seems that you'll go on with your friends to solve another mystery. Not to snow. Why? Because Yosuke has it. Keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here really appreciate it uh we're still not done with temperance and i'm gonna see if i can nab How is he, doctor? temperance he but to uh be agitated a moment ago he seems fine for now but he really needs his rest outside everyone doctor's orders understood and we should go too let's get back to nanako-chan's room No, I don't think so. The guy that I was following ends on the 30th, so what's but this thing we're missing, huh? they, like, the 30th was still the final exam, so there's really no reason for it to cut off at that point. To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing 
No matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. Never, friend. Uh, this Always so have confusing. conversations just outside of the room you were in prior. Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Okay, never mind. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's, what's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. Man, the f the FPS. The FPS of this area is chugging so bad. That's right. And it's not because of my PS3. It just does not like this place. I, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. That's it. I remember now. So... Maybe it's a stylistic it choice. Guys. Sensei. But <laughs> what should I do? Oof. <laughs> Whatever fog, uh, like fancy effect they used for the fog in that specific location. Oh. Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter. And she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke. What? You're actually telling the truth, Nanako-chan. That's such a weird oh take. <laughs> I, I, I will say the medical inaccuracy in order to convey the scene always bothers me. Of like, as soon as her heart flatlines, they should immediately tr start trying to resuscitate her. They immediately give up and don't try anything, and that always grates. <laughs> it always gets on my nerves. Like, that, the first thing they'd be doing is trying to resuscitate. <laughs> and nobody did that. And the fact that she was considered deceased for potentially as long as she was, at least long enough that they couldn't find us immediately. Um... That would- that's pretty improbable.
I mean, that was like somebody else had said, Persona 4 is a lot more lighthearted. Persona 4 and 5 both are a lot more lighthearted as opposed to previous entries. They were... They had, they had already taken steps to walk away from consequences. The con like, your actions have consequences, and those consequences can mean... can lead to death. And 5 tried to bring it back, and then they fucking retconned it in Royal. <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles mm. do happen. I'm so glad. I get that, but yeah, Persona 4 is. For a game where the major plot is trying to solve a, a serial killing. The tone is so much different. Still a good game, but yeah, it's... Come on. Stop crying, you two. You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I, I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. I couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why? Mayumi. And that girl too. I couldn't save them. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. Yeah. The method that they use is... fantastical. Which is why, you know, the plot even happens in the first place. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? But, yeah, it's like, instead of it being forces beyond human comprehension, it's mostly, it's mostly, I mean, the, the main plot of the, of the murders themselves are being done by another, uh, another human being. But that human being has access to the same abilities, or at least similar abilities, to the party. And that's what makes it. Why we have to do the stuff. Persona. <laughs> we took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. It's kind of more like when you think about the interactions, like knowing that Adachi knew about them pretty early on, almost right out the gate, that they were the ones that were, that were uh, keeping those that Namatame were putting in from dying. And then just him continually sh deciding to show up and mess with them. Thinking about it from that perspective makes it super uncomfy. Oh, Where he's just- he's snow. throwing them a line here and there, providing information that they wouldn't have access to otherwise. It's just creepy. That's probably one of the most uncomfortable things 
in this game is that the killer was actively assisting them here and there. As a form of a amusement to kill all. time. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. Had more than that, but all right, game. I think that was just because they, they only cycled through all my classmates. <laughs> and I can't imagine, I can't imagine some of them actually either having my phone number or even having a cell phone. Yes, we have time. Woo! Oh shit. Welcome. Uh <laughs> It's fine. I understand the reasoning. It has been nearly three hours. <laughs> I need to take a break, so I will. <laughs> You'll just have to deal with, uh, the fact that I was about to talk to Igor. <laughs> so, uh, let me switch gears. There we go. And I'll be back in a little bit. What?
I'm here. I'm back. <sighs> okay. Returned. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Oof. Yes, I returned, and I... I thought about it, and I remembered another thing. Um... Nanako couldn't actually be permanently dead. Uh, honestly, her remaining deceased is probably a loophole, because it's specifically tied to the bad ending. Uh, the game wouldn't have been able to release in Europe... <laughs> ...if Nanako died. That's another thought process. That's another thing to think about is, is that uh, they're very, very strict when it comes to harm to children, especially when it's shown on screen. You can imply it, but you can never expressly show it. Unless, you know, certain specific steps are taken. So that's just another thing. It's been quite some time. The flashing blue pixel on the drink stand in the velvet room. How it haunts me. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Okay. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? Thank you, Val. I can solve it. Splendid! The precise destination of this vehicle, ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight, Margaret. Yeah, well, I quit pretending. Been trying not to think about it all this time. But I finally feel like I can face reality. You're the only one who didn't pay attention to the rumors flying around about me. You saw me as I yes. am. <laughs> I can't ignore that fact any longer. I need to face the truth head on. Poor Ari, she's not here. What's right? What you should choose to do in life? The answers to those things lie within you. You gave me the opportunity to start walking. I'm going to think about my life and set my own path. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. We leave any unanswered questions behind. We'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog.
<laughs> you want to see the scene if you didn't max any? I think you would still see your party members, but I wonder if it would just be, like, silent. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great... Though Oops, there sorry, Igor. much time left, it can be worth your while. To take the time to stop and reflect. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. Some travel fast, some change their course, experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. Wouldn't it be funny, though, if Igor was like, Man, I told you to strengthen your bonds in order to make your powers stronger, and you didn't do jack shit. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in you. Seems you've been sleeping until now. You hear the doorbell ringing. Someone seems to be at the door. Teddy's missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I'm worried. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Rise and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? Where could Teddy have gone? In any case, you decide to go look for him. Man. Imagine Yosuke who had been worked up to this point, and was finally calming down, and he's like, Where is Teddy? He's not answering his phone. I hope he's at home. And then gets home and Teddy's not there. And he's like, It's oh, no shit. use, man. We can't find him. I don't know how he slept last night. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense it might be affecting my readings. Cause he does care about Teddy a lot. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Uh, Ted. Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. You recall the mysterious dream you had last night. This may be a time for contemplation rather than action. That is what Igor said, but... Let's think about this. I guess that's all we can do right now. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. I want to hear you put it like that. Sounds like the dude's guilty. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. 
You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. When he talks about saving people, what does that actually mean? I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? He did call himself a savior and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap! The bastard should have gone and saved himself. What do you think, senpai? If you think about it normally, it's gotta be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. Come on, don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. <laughs> The possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai in that announcer, right? Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. Or what? You think someone else was involved? What makes you think so? Possibility of a culprit besides Namatame. Could be something that proves this possibility. The warning letter. Warning letter? Oh yeah! Whatever happened to that thing? If Namatame's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Let's review them. You recall that the first warning letter said don't rescue anymore. And the second one said if you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Yes, that's right. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? Yeah, and the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. If the killer was writing it, wouldn't it be more like I'll put in and kill? Hey, could this mean... I'm time I didn't write it. Yeah. It's almost like someone else wrote this letter. But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? If someone else wrote it, that could only mean... Dear God. Since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. In Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Someone else? Then... It wasn't Namatame that killed Saki-senpai and the announcer? We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face.
Hmm. I don't know. There's a couple of days where I don't have to be in the TV. I don't know if I can do social. After what happened yesterday, they said they're gonna tighten security. I have a plan. But there's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. Hey, this place is off limits. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatami-san. May I go in? This is Unit 252, requesting confirmation on an ID. Name of Naoto Shirogane. Huh? Ah, understood. I see. Well, you're on the list. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect you'll get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. I'd like him to accompany me as well. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation. And he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. We have our hands full with the transport procedures, so the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Detective Adachi is busy somewhere, too. Hmm. How convenient. This is Unit 252. Huh? I see. Has something happened? There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. Ah, well then, this works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame-san. A disturbance in a hospital lobby, after all. It sounds serious. If anything happens, hit the nurse call button. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. Please be careful. I knew they were undermanned, but I didn't expect it to go this smoothly. Wow. There's nothing much inside that suspicious object. So he won't be gone long. All right. And now's our chance to talk to Namatame. All right, let's go. This is only possible because now it's an investigator. True. It helps. Namatame-san, there's something we'd like to ask you. <laughs> it's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. Huh? Did you kill those two girls? They were killed. I couldn't save them. Is saving killing people? No. If nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. Thus, to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. Yeah, but if the stuff he's saying is true... 
There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? Indulge us in a few more questions. Who killed the first two? I have no idea. I want to know that too. Why the warning letters? What are you talking about? Why did you enter the TV? I didn't know. I never thought it would be that kind of place. As I thought. You... believe me? Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? Mayumi... Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. We know about the other world. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. Only... you? We did blame you for everything at first. But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us as truth. Please, tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. You're willing to listen? Do my story? Soon after my affair with Mayumi became common knowledge, I returned to my parents' home, as if to run away from the scandal, and I started drinking heavily to drown my anxieties. I hadn't been able to reach Mayumi at all, and that didn't help either. Mayumi, where are you? She'd been disgraced on all the afternoon shows and forced to resign from the program she was on caused her so much trouble. I wanted to at least apologize to her, but I couldn't even do that. I lost the will and energy to do anything. Then, one day, the rumor I heard some time ago came back to me. Since I had nothing better to do, I sat down blankly in front of the TV and watched my own reflection. And all of a sudden, there was Mayumi. Mayumi? Is that you? The Mayumi inside the TV looked as if she was calling to me for help. Mayumi? Mayumi! When I reached out unthinkingly to touch her, my arm disappeared into the TV, as if I had dipped it into a pool of water. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. Oh, wow, I did too! <laughs> Weird. I was so scared. I couldn't understand what just happened. I thought maybe I'd gone insane. In the end, I decided to think of it as just a dream, and I went back to the city the next day after finishing work. The next afternoon when I got to work, I was fired on the spot, as I expected. That wasn't what broke me, though. It was Mayumi being found dead. And not just that, but it had happened in my hometown. I was dumbstruck, but later on, I remember the image of Mayumi I'd seen that night. Was it not a dream? Could it really have been an SOS from Mayumi? I hadn't touched another TV because the first time was so terrifying, but... I decided to try it again, and I confirmed that none of it was a dream. So that image, was it something Mayumi showed me, calling for help? That's how I felt. And eventually, you learned of the Midnight Channel. I remember that when Mayumi was alive, she was chasing a rumor about some bizarre TV program. 
I'd heard about it before, but I thought it was just an urban legend. But then Mayumi appeared on it, and later turned up dead. The more I thought about it, the harder it became to believe that the two events were unrelated. Soon after that, I came back to Inaba to answer the police's questions. I'd lost my job, and I wanted to know the truth of Mayumi's death for myself. Then, on another rainy night, someone else appeared on the Midnight Channel. It was a girl. She looked like she was calling for help, just like Mayumi. The first thing that came into my mind was, maybe this girl will be the next to die. And that was Saki-senpai. I'd been following all the news about Mayumi, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found Mayumi's body. And if my hunch was right, she'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way Mayumi did, so I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. It became sharper? <sighs> How did you find out it was her? After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such low spirits and gave me a job with the family business. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. After agonizing over it, I decided to meet her and told her to be careful. But that same night, on the TV... She looked as if she was being engulfed by some black shape. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't she pick up the phone? Come on! Please! The next day, they found her dead. I knew she was going to be murdered, but I couldn't save her. I blamed myself, thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work, not even my wife. Mayumi was the only one who accepted me for who I was. But she was murdered. And the same person killed another girl. I was... I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yamano. Yes. From the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but it put a strain on our relationship. I think I can kind of relate. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer, but she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't help getting intimate with her. She gave meaning to my life. Soon after Saki-san was found dead, Yet another girl appeared on TV. That was you. She'll be kidnapped next. And murdered. I can't let her end up like Mayumi and that other girl. This time, I'm gonna do something. My opponent was a murderer who left no clues to his identity. The thing that's, like, also really scary is that if Adachi hadn't found out about Namatame and played him like a fool, he probably would- Adachi probably would have killed more people directly. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. It was more entertaining to trick somebody else into doing it for him. But if there wasn't someone like Namatame, 
If she gets suspicious and they he arrest probably me, wouldn't have then. stopped. The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there? Is that it? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Once things calm down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? Was it my mission to save people? But there was a big problem. If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Or so I thought. Mayumi, please lend me your strength. So, since you thought people who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed, you kidnapped us in order to save us. I don't think he would have cared, I'm gonna be honest. Mission, give me a break. You never stopped and wondered about any of this? I thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. I knew the area well, thanks to my job. I had a large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? If a person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko-san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. I have a feeling that was it. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanako-chan, correct? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. But I never knew you couldn't even get out of that place on your own. I thought I was going insane. I probably did. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. Sorry that you got possessed by, like, a god. I up doing that just the I... Hmm. What a fool. I always wanted to enter the world of politics and become useful to society. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, all I had left was this power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary, and I secretly believed myself to be a hero. doubted what I saw on TV and believed everything was as I wanted it to be. I didn't think for myself at all. That's why I couldn't protect them. I'm to blame for all of this. What's done is done. I suppose so. But the things I've done are too serious to be brushed aside like that. No intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. K 
Kidnapping is already a serious crime. And on top of that, I put all those lives in danger. I'm sorry. The Midnight Channel and the Other World? You can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. Hell, we still kind of really don't. We must apologize to you as well. Had we let our emotions blind us to the truth, we would have piled all the responsibility on you. I guess from your point of view, people did stop dying once you started saving people. The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. I'm such a joke. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tired. What, what are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you, please, find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. Don't worry. It's all clear now. He never committed any murders. It was another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. Another step taken towards the truth. Rank three. Now get out of here. Yes, I yes. He's almost ready to be transported. We can't have anything else happen. Sheesh. I better not see you rascals here again. Monaco-chan looks like she's in pain. She's fighting for dear life. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. How can he flake out like this when we have to find the real killer? The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incidents and see if we can turn up fresh details. The final investigation. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on. And you never know. People might remember some things now because they've had so much time to think about it. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. I hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. Tomorrow, well, you'll be going out to talk to people in town. Oof. Let us save. Lots of story happened. And more story is going to happen tomorrow. Which is going to be after right now. Alright, shopping district. Also, I should sell my materials. I get to buy armor and things for the entire party. <laughs> oh my god.
This is a lot of stuff. Kinda. That's basically how it went. <laughs> Alright, weapon. Can I finally replace the bat? Yes. It's, like, two damage higher than the metal bat. So I won't, actually. <laughs> Two and fifty-two, just like that cop's number. A. Hey. <laughs> I like how I can still change. Teddy's gear. <laughs> You like to think there have only been 252 units in the entire town's history. Alright. That is all the stuff. So, hello, Rink. Alright. So, for starters, Shopping District North. A woman near the shrine. You, yes? Junez, a female student, you. Shopping District South.
That would... <laughs> I like to poke fun at the fact that their names are similar, but I... that... Man in front of the liquor store. Ooh, yes. No one down here. Doesn't look like I can find any more information on the incidents last spring. I guess go to Junez.
Yes, the best cat noise. Flop snooze. I feel like I've spoken to every single NPC. I already have. I'll try it again once I talk to all the NPCs in here again. He doesn't have anything to say. She doesn't have anything to say. So it's it's telling me that I've exhausted the dialogue about seeing suspicious people. When she tells it, my friend saw someone who was wandering around the shopping district. I go to the shopping district. And I talk to her. And I say, recall anyone suspicious. She goes, remember Saki? This is the third time I've spoken to her. And she said, something happened in front of the liquor store. There's one last ditch effort. Which is talking to the people in here, but that would be really bizarre if that was something you had to do. She has nothing to say. I could try going to Aya, but no, because I would have seen the yes or no. 
I am holding triangle for the dialogue, but I'm actually reading the options. Yeah, I there's apparently I haven't spoken to enough people. Okay, f I had to talk to her twice? Oh, come on. It says, ask the woman at the shopping district North New Shrine about those murders. I had to talk to her about f suspicious people twice, so this was not correct. Annoyed. Annoyed. I have become. I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I, I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the troop culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> Killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off. I don't know if we need like that emote. In small town. But I do need to make more, so. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please. That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Ooh. Now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. <laughs> mm. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't, but otherwise the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. Mm. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. But Angie. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano, as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Oh, snow! snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. 
There must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. Clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? Culprit had a connection to Mayumi and Saki. Warning letters. Most cl the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. Highly likely that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seemed to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Amano or Sakikishi either. Despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... Course. If you look only at the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your action. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating the case. You learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There is no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. You spoke Adachi's name. Ah, yes, in Golden, you would have the choice to not. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. Yeah, you would have had the choice to speak his name or not if I had a Marine Six. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. In Golden, he doesn't have a social link in the name, so... Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Alright. Sleep well, day nightfall. Adachi-san? Thanks for hanging out. He's I always there. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano and... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Huh. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon, but I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but... It's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? Oh, and my bitrate! What connects those two victims to Adachi-san?
Lovely. Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot in all sorts of places. <sighs> and every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It didn't last long, but I lost a lot of frames. That warning letter into your mailbox either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Various peculiarities have begun to cast a suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then is it really Adachi-san? Uh, oh goodness. Ugh. We need to confirm this. Oh, this is still only a tentative theory. There it goes again. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. This is now Toshiragami. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Okay. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> May the next attempt at fighting the dragon be successful. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. Oh. We doing it doesn't look good my internet my internet is there a particular reason why it's decided to do this thousand That is, that is some wild capitalization, if that's what you want to change my name to. Oh goodness, what is happening? I can't really do less than 10. Will you be happy with four? It seems, it seems like it will give me room to work with if I lower it to four. The quality of the stream output has been lowered. All right. I guess I'll hide that unless it comes back. We must head there at once.
Hi, Adachi. Yes, I did. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering. You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Adachi. Where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Come on! I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. You should question Adachi. About when Yamano vanished time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Saki's interrogation. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. About the warning letter. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? Yeah, because it's like everything's happening all, in, all at once because he's kind of scrambling to tie everything down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that, and what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? Forgot she! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Dojima-san. I, I forgore. To and, report in. and Dojima punches him in the face. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I 
have no idea what you're talking about. Because we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. What did you just say? Put them all in? What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? Put them in the, the grave. It's the easiest fix to what you said. Yeah, Adachi, be quicker on your feet. Let's go, come on. Pay more time, attention. Said, Akechi would have done better than you at this survive, point, and that's really saying something. Written here. And in response, your words were, Granted, the catchy's response would probably be just to start murdering everyone in the room, but it's still better than what you're doing. <laughs> How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. Uh... Someone forgot! <laughs> yep, that command is still active. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy! Wait, you son of a bitch! After him! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! True. I don't know. It's like, it's handled better. I was making a joke, mostly. Um, where he, he handles it really, really well. And that's the thing that always bothered me in, in Persona 5 of just the, oh yeah, I knew from the beginning. Ah, check under the bed. <laughs> Quick, he might be behind the TV. I mean, the bed. Actually, that'd be really way. hard to hide under. Damn it! Where the hell did he go? I only made the joke about the behind the TV is because when I was visiting a friend's house for like a while, she was like, "Yeah, I want you to meet my cat," and we couldn't find her cat, and we started freaking out, thinking, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> thinking uh, she had, like, gotten outside or something. She was standing behind the TV. Because their TV was one of those flat screens that's standing up on a TV stand. And she was just perfectly behind it, hanging out the entire time. And we were like, where is the cat? <laughs> Hi, Dojima. Did you find him? contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. Oh, big dog stretch. You have a nice nap. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. Did you check under the bed for He's cat? Still here? But yes. We, we didn't find him anywhere. The bed is a good place to look because if the cat feels like they're like afraid in un under would be under something is a is a good place to look <laughs> that bastard <clears throat> dojima san for heaven's sake what are we going to do with you i'm sorry i, 
get carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? You're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. He's so happy. Yeah, happy boy. He did that thing where he shook his head, but my he hand was close. So that sound that I that don't think he would. that comes from when his Could ears he slap, like your hand. Have have you anyone ever like you're petting your cat or your dog and they'll 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 shake their head really fast and their ears will slap your hand and it makes a, it makes a sound. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I like it when my cats and my dog do that. <laughs> I don't know why it's such an amusing sound, <laughs> motion, combination of things, but it is. Yeah. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? The TV. We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. There's actually a really good clip <laughs> that came out of Persona Thon during Persona 4 Arena <laughs> Ultimax, <laughs> where I started. Yeah, I was started talking to Val, <laughs> and it sounded like I was talking in reaction to something happening in the game. Where is it? Where is it? I I wanna I. Uh... Find it, share it in the chat. It's such a good clip. Let me, f let me wait. Hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it. I can find it. I can find it. I can find. Ah, where did my ah, my tabs? I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. It's <laughs> I got this, I got this. Videos. View clips. View all. Top all. Uh. Where is it? 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 There's the one where he, he ejected the- where Val ejected the disc. One where he had the- the pig toy. So many of my clips. Uh Yeah, it's called Don't Do That. Oh, there it is. Excuse Okay, there we go. It didn't like immediately. Okay, here, 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 here. If it'll let me pause, for some reason, Twitch is acting weird. Alright. Mute that. Turn on... Bam! <laughs> Don't worry. You'll all die together eventually. Not just you, but all life is... He's so quiet. Here, I'll turn this up. Don't worry. You'll all die together eventually. Not just you, but all life itself. Mm -mm. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I just say, I just very calmly say, don't do that. <laughs> I'm talking to my dog. <laughs> I'm talking to Val. <laughs> <laughs> he was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. <laughs> well, he shouldn't end life itself either. True. So I guess we it, were right. it was just so conveniently in response to what he had said in that moment. <laughs> Let's go in tomorrow. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV, and on top of that, we don't know where it might huh? lead. Think of a moment. What? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh no, my internet. I lost 9,000 frames. It was red for a little bit. It's not anymore, though. But I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> I have been summoned. I will return. Hopefully very, very soon. I left my soda, I'll be back. actually back this time. I went to grab my soda and I was like, oh wait, I grabbed it and brought it with me into the other room and then left it there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in from Jeunesse like always. <laughs> and then I <laughs> and then I finished it. So I just tossed the can <laughs> on my way back. <laughs> It'll be fine. I had to sign so a card. We're ready for him. We'll crush that jerk in one strike. <laughs> the extremely suspicious detective Adachi. You're taking another step closer to the truth.
Oh, hey, Teddy! Hi, Val. This. It seems that you've come to the Velvet Room in your dreams again. But something is different this time. You don't see Igor or Margaret. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? Sensei? Why are you here? I don't know. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. You're always so kind, Sensei. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car, and then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. <laughs> that, that one's pretty good. <laughs> But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh yeah, Sensei. One day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her, I'm really sorry. Huh? R really? Nana chance. Wow, that's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? <coughs> yeah. I really don't know either. 
No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. Max rank. Hello. The light bearer. But I have to get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye. Sensei. Before you know it, Teddy is gone and Igor and Margaret are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. <laughs> time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Uh, the toy that he is giving me is slimy. <laughs> now, it's time for you to return. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. You'll be okay. waiting for your next visit. Calm down. You're too excited. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? You need evidence that Teddy Gore couldn't be killed. No, and no one's seen him either. Must go into the TV world and find him. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. How dense this fog is it's gotten even worse than before what the there's this malicious aura everywhere it feels completely different from the last time i was here nice i think we'd better hurry give me a sec to try finding a dachi does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up Glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. 
There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Bring it back. A different toy. That works. <laughs> then maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? This place? Huh. I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Nana-chan. I'm so sorry. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard... your voice. You said... hang in there. I heard... my big bro... and... everyone else, too. <laughs> Nana-chan! Hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um... Anna-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. It's over there. Ah, why do you have to throw the toy all the way over there? Ah. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown, too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Goodbye, Kentucky Doji. Hello! Kamui. <laughs> need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Rise-chan. Only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. <laughs> that bear's a loudmouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm alright. I 
just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end! Guys, how are we getting out of here without Teddy? Ah! I know he's in there too. I never thought about that. <laughs> What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. Bless you. Teddy? You little... Where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> you hesitated to make a joke because you were so sure there was an explanation somewhere that you missed. <laughs> um... Rise-chan? Are you faking? Sorry, I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. You listen to Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is. That he was only a shadow. And that though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yep. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? Wh what are you saying? Here I am, pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was something like that anyway? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow! So what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way. But you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a Can persona. Can I please set the toy on your head? It keeps moving. Very well. I'll just throw it. <laughs> Doesn't it follow then <laughs> that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. Just, you know, no bones or organs. Uh, I'm the same as humans? You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. How's he gonna reach it if it's on the top of his head? I just wanted him to balance it on his head, but he keeps tilting his head away. Top of his wants it in his mouth. <laughs> you can't do much on your own. 
You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? Isn't that just you, senpai? Ow! <laughs> hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Geez, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. Do you prefer weird kid now, Joe? No! It was Adachi. Oh, I hit the mic with my shoulder. Ah! Huh? <laughs> Adachi? That total goofball? Wow. I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't sound very sure himself. Thanks, guys. Alright, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Rank six. Rank six. You guys aren't a band in this version of the game. You're right. <laughs> Yosuke just likes music. It's his first ever pun. It's a music-based pun. <laughs> what if every character in the investigation team made a pun based on their major, like, hobby slash occupation? Oh god, they'd all be terrible. <laughs> but it'd be really funny. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Null's Ice maintains lightning weakness, but gets strength against wind and dark. Kamui looks so fucking weird. And tomorrow, I don't have any, like, daytime stuff. Just, like, kind of awkward. Do I go into the TV world tomorrow? Obviously, but do does it let me leave? Does it force me to leave? I must know, because if it doesn't force me out, I can do those requests. Then finish I'll give it a try, but... the social link that I'm behind on. And then Rise-chan couldn't find him. I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Mm. I do smell a dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely covering up his scent. Petty, you can't do it either? <laughs> when you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've gotta sniff him out no matter what! This is my time to shine! Hmm. Ooh, I'm getting something! Eddie? Hey, quit wandering around. 
You better not flake out on us again. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. He's referring to fishing. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei Yosuke and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... where was that? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Means his PS3 controller is vibrating. No! <laughs> yep, there's someone there. <sighs> ah. Teddy, you really are amazing. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Ah, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? It was. I, I just. I don't know why I said it like that, honestly, but I, I'm, I'm using the DualShock 4 because of the updrift. Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Ah, uh, well, it happened so long ago. My memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. Hehe. <laughs> 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 oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. <laughs> it's just... Just the little hee hee after his statement. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. Shut up, Chie. <laughs> That's as much of a barb at me as it was Yukiko, because I laughed too. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. You're the real killer. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. <sighs> who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help! <sighs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? No! Ah! She, she fell in. 
so people can go completely inside. Good thing for me no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. Mm. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Konishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. What's this about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. <laughs> it was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. <laughs> Trying to say that Adachi being in, in Inaba could have been the premise for, <laughs> for like... <laughs> A premise for another version of Hot Fuzz, but in Japan. But he fucked it up by immediately committing crimes instead. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. <laughs> I didn't know it was dangerous inside. Pretty the much. <laughs> it's not like I was trying to kill them. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office. Oh, I startled him. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? Did you trick Namatame? Nah. He called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know. Too. 
is that right? Oh, Tommy san do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. could find her? Savor yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push. I have a root beer. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? You murdered people just for the fun of it? Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame! Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? Yeah, what a jerkwad! I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> I was super excited. Wait, the police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank. So they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all! It was me! Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate to pin it on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. He couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. He forgot all this, and he likes these revelations! <laughs> That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? 
It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? <laughs> I opened my mouth right as he barked. And now he's super excited. Why are you so excited? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! Oh, well, there he goes. What a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? Ow, shush! I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! Uh... That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. People in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here! And now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finish this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait, I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. He means the 26th. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. By pooling all your strength, the path to the truth has been opened. Gate.
All right. We've made some strides in plot progression. <laughs> one social link left, besides the automatic one. And Naoto just wants to see an Izanagi no Okami. I plan to make it, don't worry, I'm getting there. <laughs> but this is like a, this is a pretty good stopping point, methinks. There's still a few extra stuff to do. Not a crazy amount, but you know, an amount. We got a social link. We got some requests, so we're gonna go back into heaven. Uh, I wanna do Magatsu Inaba, Magatsu Mandala, that dungeon. I want to see, I want proof that because this is a New Game Plus file, that uh, for some reason, like, every I want to see every other chest have the Reaper. I want to level grind off the Reaper so badly. When when that game fact, game FAQ, told me that in a second playthrough, Magatsu Mandala has the highest, like, chance of the chest, of the regular chest containing the Reaper, means that you can get, you can open, like, a bunch in a row and they all be the Reaper. I want, I want that. I want that. I want it. Because I want to hit the level cap. And I want to make Izanagi o no Okami. I'm ready! What if the Reaper is too strong? That'll just be what the stream's about. Preparing for the Reaper! I want to kill the Reaper. So badly. So badly. I didn't in Golden. I, I, I was strong enough to do it. I just never did. I must. So, with that, say goodbye to YouTube, everybody. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye. Farewell, YouTube. Farewell, YouTube.